Hi, I'm Nancy it, Drew. Yeah. This is we'll my center of operations, anyways. my desk. Go ahead and... Our For centuries, case a fearsome oh, monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Baum, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Normally, Nancy doesn't read these things out. I wasn't prepared for that. Pretty straightforward. Monster on the prowl. That's actually just me in Germany, but, you know, no spoilers. <laughs> Germany a long time ago. This one brings the drama. This is actually 2010, if you can believe it. Lonnie screaming. I think this is Nancy's voice actor. I'm getting non Nancy. <laughs> I'm getting Lonnie vibes from this performance. Radio Rebel. I'll do that once the cutscene's over. I understand, not Lizzie. I understand. Oh, there we go. I would do the same. I would do the same. I know Lonnie when I see her. <laughs> Wait, I need to take the headphones fully off. <laughs> I'm Lonnie Manella. Yeah, I remember the music being good in this one too. Although to be fair, I don't really remember much else about this game. Like the puzzles, not so much. I do remember there's some drama in this game, which is fun. No spoilers, but... Hello? I love Hello? drama. Open up, please. No, thank you. We already have one. What? What? This is Nancy Drew. Right? Please let me in. This is Lucas. Please let me out. What? What? This is what you sound like right? when you say that. What? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No, but if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. All right. I'm loving the authenticity of the accents already. Boom. I Who can got take it. me? I got it. Okay, I solved it. Nice job. Now for part two of your test. Lucas! You passed, good job. Gotta go. Nancy, oh, yes. sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. It's so accurate. I feel like I'm at home. I really do. It's so nostalgic. <laughs> uh, hello. Ooh. Oh, the music's real spooky. Wait, can we talk to our babe? <gasps> Hey, babe. Guten Abend, Frau. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Sprechen Sie... Oh, do I speak German? No, I mean, I sorry. do. I understood no, what she said. No. I, am I understood what she said. Carl, the Burgermeister, is supposed to tell me a little bit about each guest, like the language you speak and where you're from. This way I can have everything prepared for your stay. But again, he has not done this correctly. I'm Anya. The she said Castellan. Ashley is the I'm best in streamer in services. the world. <laughs> I'm here to help you with anything you need during your stay. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Drew. You sure picked an interesting week to visit. You must have a... What's it? A <laughs> Why does everyone heart. look like your co-worker, Cassie? What do you mean? <laughs> what? You don't know? Then And last time someone looked like your co-worker, they were the villain. Something or you wouldn't have said anything. The castle's worked up in a panic right now, so I have to warn you that your visit here may not be the world-class experience we aim to provide. But I will do my best to make sure that your visit is a happy and safe time for you. I feel like she's for the girls, you know? I feel like this character's for the girls. Um... Why is everyone a little spooked right tell now? Tell me. Oh, it's... 
Well, I suppose you'll find out about it anyway. I might as She's well got a be the deep one side to fill part. you in. Mind you, don't get upset. Are you the easily frightened type? Oh, I have to say. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. But you do not need to worry about this, I see. Yes. How do you say this? There's a monster situation, potentially. Yeah, <laughs> I was just flustered seeing Anya. A monster situation? Well, that's the buzz around the castle. You need background. V, this castle, has a history. Legend around here says that a monster lives in these woods. Once in a great while, he returns, seeking a victim. People think that time is now. Kind of like Justin Timberlake. Uh, what makes everyone think the monster is coming here now? As long as I've been here, people always pointed or Leonardo out DiCaprio. his return. <laughs> Cows would go missing. <laughs> Flocks of sheep would disappear. If Claw she's the monster, I hope she picks trees. me. Everyone would say, oh, the monster will be here soon. But when he doesn't come, everyone calms down and forgets about the legend until strange things start happening again. Are strange things happening now? Yeah, but, uh, different this time. Um, I mean, it's certainly in the spirit of a German accent. I feel like, um, what non-German speakers don't really capture is German people, or, like, also Dutch and, and Belgian people, have sort of, like, a sing-song thing to their voice. I can't even really, I can't do it. You can tell this isn't a German person, but I appreciate that she's going for it. You know, she's hitting that yach, <laughs> which is also, um, I mean, I guess I don't know what region they're in, so I can't so? discern the accent the specifically. The are the same, but everyone is reacting differently. It's are all spooky. German women this hot? I mean, all women are I queens, so yes. That before a tsunami, all of the animals will run to a higher ground. They just know. That is what it is like this time. We all this just time. know. <laughs> what can you tell me about the monster? I don't know, Nancy. A lot of the older people here say they've seen it, but none of them will say what it looks like. Why not? Not sure. Maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they did, and they don't want to remember. But everyone will tell you about the strange things that have been going on. Like what? Look, I could get into a lot <laughs> I love of this trouble for table telling you this. Like <laughs> Can you promise me that you won't tell anyone that I am telling you this stuff? I, I promise. promise. I want to be your friend. Hi, okay. Laffy Taffy. For the last little while, there have been these weird howls from the woods. The sound, it's no animal I've ever heard of. And it is definitely not human. It sounds, I don't know, frustrated? At night, you can hear the thing. It's circling the castle, getting closer each time. It's terrible. Oh my gosh, there's so much more to say. You believe there's a monster on his way here? <laughs> Didn't we already ask about there being a monster? Do you believe there's anyways. a monster on I his way here? I just want to talk here? to her. What do you want me to say, Nancy? I can't answer anything like that at work. Please, I won't tell anyone. Please, I won't tell anyone what you say. <sighs> I do. It's <sighs> stupid, I know. But there is something terrible You're not stupid, out there. Anya. Don't I can say just that. feel it. We all can. It's taken everything I've got to stay here through this. Stay strong, sister. I'll fit us in. Bye, Nancy. Nancy killed it. All right, let's go find our boy, Carl, I guess. Our less exciting boy. Oh, do I have to answer it? Hi, Ned. I'm sorry, the reception is a little bad here. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway plan for the two of us. Uh-oh. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home <laughs> as soon as possible. I've heard that one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in Get the middle of something pretty important here. 
So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, International Sleuth, gets to go out adventuring while Ned stays at home. Sorry Again. you're boring. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. <laughs> I can see that I'm not that important to you. So forget it. Fine. Fine. That was not great. I like how, um, I mean, I love the Ned voice actor. I love how he's kind of incapable of sounding angry with his voice. He's like, <laughs> he sounds too like 5'7", you know? Fine. <laughs> also, uh, not to give Ned credit where credit is not due. Have to translate that. But. It is kind of wild to not even cancel your date and go to a foreign country. <laughs> I have to I have to give Ned that. You know, I would probably be a little little peeved myself. <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm also boring, so what do I know? How do I get up there? This place is a maze. I don't know, he's a man, it's what he deserves. Fair point, I hadn't thought of it like that. But this gives us our time to move in on, on Frank Hardy. This must be the room that Carl set up for me. Oh, hello. Well, this is not the office, but we're here. Should we just, well, you know. Let's call our boy Marcus. We'll start this mystery eventually. Hi, you've reached Marcus. I'm out. My assistant can be reached at any hour of the day or night. <laughs> so German. All right, well, he's not going to talk to me. So I guess we'll just have to wander around a little bit more. Is it? Is it? It all kind of looks the same in here. Is it? Oh, oh, around here. What's over here? Oh, history? Blech. History. No, thank you. Oh. <laughs> He's playing with his Funko Pops. He's got his Funko Pops must out. must be Nancy, yes? That's right. I'm here to help you take care of the monster sightings. Shh, shh. There is certainly no monster, Fraulein, and there have been no monster sightings. Everything is fine. There is no need for alarm. We have a huge monster problem here, literally and also figuratively. The monster is he looks huge. Like, he looks like my grandpa, which kind of scares me. Problem. Ooh, hydrate. Thank you. Help. Why are you doing that? Doing what? Talking so loudly. Who is listening in? MI6, probably. I am the Burgermeister, Nancy. If I appear to be scared, how will everyone feel? The last thing I need is the castle newspaper picking up on how bad things are. The castle has its own newspaper? Of course. Doesn't yours? I don't really live in a castle. How do you protect yourself from peasant uprisings? It's never really been an issue. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? What? You want details? It's a monster. It is monstrous. Get rid of it, please. And thank you. It's not that I don't enjoy reading the lore. It's that I don't enjoy reading out loud. <laughs> but I, I can go back and read it. And by don't enjoy means I'm bad at it, as y'all know. I like your later, Hosen. Yes, yes. Get it out of your system now, Fraulein. Nancy, Nancy. Cancel. What do you mean? No one likes lederhosen. Look at these. All of these straps and hooks and what have you. It's like I can't be trusted to keep my shirt on. I don't think Do you, you can. Do you know how long it takes me to put these on in the morning? Nine minutes. And it's not like they look good. I look like a sad old Pinocchio. Then why do you wear them? It's part of Marcus's Bavarianization of the castle. He wants to give Taurus a more authentic experience when they come here. It sounds like you're well, not he's a the fan Burger of that idea. I grew up here. I know authentic. If he wanted authentic, this he should authentic have come to, to me, me. <laughs> instead of stuffing the castle full of idiotic toys. I would toys. know. Uh, no offense to you and your fanny pack wearing loud talking country people. It sounds like you don't like tourists. We have no business having tourists here. It isn't right. Earlier, you hid some things when I came in. 
Were they dolls? Fräulein, these are not dolls. Not the toxic masculinity. Okay, what are those items? These are injection molded, uh, uh, professionally uh, crafted, physical, tactical, multi directional uh, uh, uh. place holding avatars. Oh, right. Therefore, a fully immersive strategic map inclusive campaign tabletop set I've built. Okay, I know those words, but that is the extent of what I took away from that sentence. You Americans would call it a game. Oh, a game. yes, we would call it that. <laughs> That's but what that I'm is saying, because Copper in the Pods, rest of the world, Pods. games are not taken seriously. Here, we take games very seriously. Very seriously. That is why German board games are the best in the world. I can't even think of a German board. I don't think that's I true. I don't think that's true. <laughs> that's I don't know what is worse, doubting me or doubting German board games. Nah. Both of these things are a problem in my opinion. Just <laughs> so you just know, many really of the most popular <laughs> games against out Germans. the world actually were created in Germany. And now I'm working on creating a new game. When it is done, it's going to turn the strategy world on its ear. I think the Funko Pops got to his head. I think about it as an expression does not make a great deal of sense. Why is that? Because why would it be on its ear? This is preposterous. Is it? No, the other Shoots thing. and ladders is a German game board so game. Important. Maybe I'm making that up. You'll have to see. Tell me your play. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty great so far. At least that is what I think. But you should be sure to tell me what you think. Don't be shy. I can Ugh, always I'm being use tricked into playing a criticism. board game. I'm sure, tricked I'd into love playing to. a board game. Great! It's called Raid. The game is very simple. It's just about using the best strategy and, of course, finding the coolest looking character. Ready? I'll play blue if you play the other two colors. He's gonna oh, play two excellent. people? <laughs> it is Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> exactly. I... Listen, I know some people have, like, board game nights and are very into games. I had a roommate, um... Who lived with us here who was very... Actually, this was his room. And he had a bunch of board games. And I just... I don't have the attention span to learn. <laughs> I care... I want to stay ignorant. I don't know games, therefore I don't play them. It's very simple. Oh, wait. Should I look at the rules? Three players, ages 10 and up. Be the first to enter the castle. All right, three prawns. Each player is dealt three cards. Randomly pick a player to go first. Player spins the spinner and moves their pawn forward, the number shown. The color of the square the person lands on determines the next action. Red, challenge using strength, challenge using magic. Okay. Steal a card from any other player who has two or more cards. If no other player has two or more cards, no steal will occur. Move forward. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How to challenge if the player lands on. Okay. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. <laughs> this, is why, this is why I don't like board games. <laughs> um, I'm sure it'll be fun once I actually play it, but I get overwhelmed with the instructions. Player chooses an opponent's challenge. Okay. I feel like I, I get the general idea. Player wins, player moves their forward. The distance shown on their challenge card. Okay. Okay. I feel like I get the, the gist. I feel like I get enough. Oh, wait. Do I have to play the card? All right. All right. Knew it. Nailed it. Okay. My turn. My turn. Green. So... I'll pick this guy. And I'll challenge you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, I goofed. Dang it! <laughs> we would have tied! I goofed. Okay, how do I get more cards? Oh, they're cha- okay, he's challenging himself, which feels... ...fundamentally unfair, but okay. You do you.
which one is he? Oh, he's red. Boom. It's over, dude. It's over. All right, I win. Take that. Oh my god, this black so far ahead. Oh, well. I'm nervous. Wait. Okay. I don't know why I turned my card in before. I don't know what that happened there. Tie. I think this game has to be pretty long then. Oh my gosh, he's so far ahead. Oh, he's on green? Okay. Well. I love this pirate lady. Hello. Respectfully, hello. <laughs> she reminds me of um, Red from Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride. Okay, yellow. I kind of love the card design I on won. this. Did her... Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Well... Guess we're starting over. I accidentally backed out of the game. <laughs> it's okay. That's what I meant to do. You gotta quit when you're ahead sometimes. All right, I win! We weren't even close to winning. I won that round, but I accidentally... You can accidentally back out, even though that's like... Do you see how close that is to your own board? How that could be potentially confusing? Um... What, do I have to get rid of a card? Why is it frozen? Oh, no, there we go. Three of the green. Wait! I keep misunderstanding what that means. Okay. <laughs> I made this mistake as before. Let me look at the instructions. Player picks a card to return to the deck, then fall. Okay. Because I keep goofing myself on that. Gamer alert. Doesn't matter though. Still one. Still one. Still on top. No falls on top. You know what they say. Look how far ahead I am. I'm incredible. Um, yellow? But I was saying. Aw, oh, dang it. I love the card design. I love this granny fairy. Do you think her interactive like ever made like a limited release of this game? Because if they didn't, that's like feels like a real lost marketing opportunity. But maybe they did. I know they made Coco Kringles in real life for like special pre-orders and stuff. I'm sure a fan has recreated this game. I believe it. At least. He didn't. Wait, oh, that's not mine. <laughs> Let's get mad. Wait, why did I move back? That's not even my my person. Yeller. Um I guess I should choose the one with less cards, but Boom. Who can take me? Who can take me? Oh, so now I have to get rid of a card. Or no, I don't. Did they make foxes... Foxes and gooses IRL? No. But apparently that's a real game. So I guess they didn't have to. But also, who would want to torment themselves with, with that game? Not me. Not me. My turn. Whoa! Whoa! Do you see this right now? Hey, I got pulled over for no reason. Do you have any copper stories? What does that mean? Oh! <laughs> 
I thought you were talking about like the metal. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the metal. Um, not really. I also got pulled over um, driving by like the road near my house one time because there's this road, which in my opinion, the speed limit is just way too slow. No one actually goes that, that, that speed. I was going like a 45 and a 30, but it's like a high traffic area and everyone does that, which is why there's a cop sitting there sometimes. And he pulled me over and I remember I had goose in the car at the time. And I remember he, the cop <laughs> was like, hey, puppy. And obviously I didn't say anything, but I was just like, don't, don't hey, puppy, my dog right now. Don't, don't try and gas up my dog right now. You don't get to do that. Wasn't that dramatic of a story, but you know. But I've never gotten a ticket or anything. And you know, they still haven't found the the body I left in the woods, so. Yeah, I try to limit my, my cop stories. Yeah, Goose is a cab for sure. I mean, he did not like a, a man approaching our car. I'll tell you, that's for sure. But he was, um, I, I can't remember. He might have, like, barked a little bit. But he wasn't, like, crazy where it was, like, stressing me out. Uh, well, this is what I got. We got, like, no cards. All right, I win! Woo! I win! Yeah, I would like more cards, please. I don't know, do I have to... <sighs> um... Well, let's just do that. Okay, I was gonna say, if I have to get rid of a card, I don't have any cards. I could not have had a worse card, though. Could not have had a worse card. Ah! Ah! I set cruise control at 5 over, and he, and he pulled me over, like, you know how fast you were going? Like... Yeah, the speed limit. <laughs> oh, that's baloney. That's baloney. But also, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure when you're talking to cops, that when they ask you, do you know how fast you were going? I, I may be misremembering this. I'm pretty sure the general advice I heard is to, like, not answer the question and just be like, how fast was I going, officer? Like, respond with a question. Because the thing is, anytime you're talking to a cop, it's like, you know, on the record. And when they're asking you questions, it's pointed and for a reason. So, like, volunteer as, as little information as you can, you know? But I'm not remembering, I may be misremembering that advice. So, <laughs> if you're in a serious situation, don't, don't say you got that advice from me. Uh, what did I land on purple? Steal a card from any player with two or more cards. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, never admit anything. It's like that time I told y'all about when an RA, like, knocked on my door because he said he heard clinking glasses, which was me putting, like, some angry orchards in a fridge before I went to bed. And my... <laughs> My dumb brain was like, Ugh, it's true, it's true, <laughs> resident assistant, please don't hurt me. I'm, I'm just a, a boy with dreams. I didn't have to say shit. <laughs> the way everyone I told that story to was like, you didn't, you shouldn't have let them in your room. They, especially an RA. <laughs> a cop is a different story. A cop has like a deadly weapon on them. Don't tell an RA anything. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if any of y'all... Well, I think some of y'all are still in college. Don't tell an RA anything. They've got nothing on you. They're just a, a guy with a clipboard. Uh, apparently the dolls aren't part of the game. A mystery. But Ghastly, I'm the same way. Like, I think people assume, like, when I went to law school, that that meant I was, like, a confrontational person where I enjoyed arguing, and that's not the case. Especially, like, on my own behalf. I hate it. 
I'm so easy to like, um, like if you're angry at me, even if I don't think I've done anything wrong, I'll be like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like that John Mulaney bit. You could pour hot soup on me and I'd probably thank you. Just apply for a job at a pharmacy. Y'all wish me luck. Oh, good luck, not Lizzie. I'm sure you'll do great. And if it doesn't, then they didn't deserve you in the first place. I feel like I'm kind of crushing this, though. They're nowhere near me. Who can take me? Okay, so I have to get rid of a card. I guess I'll get rid of that one. Challenge you. Boom. Nancy, you're not going to say anything about that? I am almost the big winner. Victory is in my grasp, in my reach. Did he challenge himself and lose? You know what both of your cards are. Oh no. I guess he won. <laughs> you know what both of your cards are. Uh, Yeller. Blau. This guy's kind of bad at his own game. Can I be honest? I guess we're on easy. <laughs> I guess now that I think about it, we are playing on easy. But why not? Why wouldn't we play on easy? Um, I have really shitty cards. Not looking good for me. But... Dang it. Victory was in our reach. Um, This doesn't look like a purple piece, and that throws me off. Green? I also don't really have a good... Meh. Boom. I love this little photoshopped crown on this donkey's head. Alright, Yellow, you gotta pull it together. It's not warm enough. It's not cold enough to put my hoodie back on, but my arms are chilly. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit like this, I think. Um, long sleeves. Long sleeves would be the appropriate thing to be wearing in that situation, but I don't want to. I'm on stream. I'm a professional. One. Look. Look. Boom. Oh, one. Don't challenge me right now. Please. Yeah, you can try and catch up, but you're not even close, Carl. Not even close. Um, let me see. What happens when you go to the castle? Player press into by either landing exactly on the last red square for a challenge or by spinning a number. Their spin will move the pawn past the final square. They will st still stop and challenge any other player. If they lose the challenge, they must move their pawn back. Okay, so it's still based on the red. Um, and I have a one, so doesn't look good. <laughs> I have a one. Yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> Love that, like that guy. Re cop stories. I once got pulled over because we had the pussycat dolls blasting through the radio and things got a little too fun and we didn't notice we had pulled down an unfinished street until we were on a sketchy dirt road in the woods that we were not allowed to be on. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna go down a closed street, it might as well be blasting the pussycat dolls. I also get... get lost in... 
listening to when I grow up. That's on my running playlist and it hits every time. It really does. Uh. This game refuses to end. <gasps> I think they thought we were drunk. You're just high on life. Just high on life. I mean, did they just tell you to bounce? I'm assuming they didn't do anything, right? Um. Well. It's not looking good. I was so close to winning, and now it's being taken away from me. What the heck? Ugh! Good God. <laughs> me a decent card. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, move on back. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, even yellow's catching up. Look at this. Um, yellow? Do that. And hop up there. You're rooting for yellow, Ragnarok. <laughs> I were on my side. Oh, it's over, besties. It's over. I've got our pirate queen. Honestly. Honestly. Wait. Which one did yellow land on? Okay. Boom. Boom. Oh, bye, Ghastly. All right. All right. Challenge. Oh my gosh, Yellow has so many cards. What the heck? Come on. Big money, big money, big money. No! I was so close! Ah! I thought I had it. I thought I had it in the bag. Now I gotta wait another round of him challenging himself. At least this time there's actually music looping in the background. Normally whenever you're doing like a long puzzle or a long game in Nancy Drew, they have music play for like 20 seconds and then it's just like you're sitting with your thoughts. <laughs> you're just alone with your thoughts. Okay, come on. And challenge him again. It's also- it's still not looking good. Can't believe I didn't win with a 13. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Y'all was gonna bring it back, I believe. Nar, nar, nar. Nine. Ah! Ah! I don't like it. Yellow? Yellow? Take that, yellow. You, if you get a golden man in the latter half of the, bo the board, you hoard that shit to make you win. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Kind of thought I was a goner, to be honest. Give it to me. Give me the crown. Don't, don't you dare challenge me right now. Don't you dare. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot of this mini game. I don't remember how many times you have to play it. I feel like he, I. I feel like I recall you having to beat it at least once. But I, I honestly really don't remember a whole lot of this game. Um, Alright. 
Come on. It's over, right? Right? Yes. <laughs> I can't really do it with my sleeves like this. Woo! Nice round. What did Haters you think? thought I couldn't do it. I didn't like it. You didn't? A radio oh. rebel. You've done it again, Carl. Getting too excited. I need to work more. Keep them humble. Keep the men humble. Again. Oh, he gave me money. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it, Carl. Not really. <laughs> victory. Sweet victory. Eh. Eh. Thanks. Oh my god, we're rich. Who's Lucas? Lucas, Lucas has been dead for 40 years. What do you mean? He's the head of security's son, so he's oh, always oops. Is fond of... <laughs> I didn't... Hang on. You just want to look at me? <laughs> I'll change it. Change it back. I'm meddling, talking, endlessly talking, chattering away about some inane thing. It never ends with that one. How could someone who knows so little talk so much? The talking is more annoying than all of the pranks. <laughs> An entire stream of, of the camera on you. That would be a good, like, April Fool's Day stream. I feel like y'all would leave within, like, five minutes of that bit, but <laughs> it'd be fun. It'd be fun for me. Can you catch me up on what's been happening with these monster sightings? The castle is emptying out. I've never the seen castle's people be out. this nervous. Uh. You've got to get to the bottom of this quickly. What has happened what with the monster, the monster so even far? Done? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering What is this Lady Gaga fan doing exactly? She drops her basket, and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away where is magda can i talk to her you can try but good luck with that she's she went to listen to art pop she hasn't come out since that night <laughs> the monster come went to, to listen to art pop you should leave her alone i just want to ask her a few questions i know exactly I what want you to talk. want to do and i'm telling you that you need to leave her alone they didn't want to animate that character model so Bye. we can't talk See to her later, Nancy. All right. Can I creep through your stuff? No. That's no fun. No, no. <laughs> this is like 2D. There is no texture on this. Well, I guess. Well, I guess that makes sense. It just looks like it's like <laughs> part of the desk. It looks so goofy to me. Um, Forward. Bin. Spinning in his office. Sometimes you just gotta let it out, you know? Sometimes you just gotta let your feelings out by spinning. What's going on over here? Game guide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop objectifying women. All women are queens. Oh, oops. That's bad. Look at that mess. How does Nancy even do that? Everything exactly the way it was. Sorry, I will. It looks like I'll need to get the trays to their original levels. All right, I guess. Um, I feel like I sort of saw it before it crashed, but that's, these are kind of the only two pieces I remember. I recall. Golden Hunter. I kind of like scale puzzles, though. Um, well, does this guidebook say anything? Or is it just guessing? Oh, no, it, it does tell you. Big bad wolf. Stubborn wise do don donkey. Heftiest. That's weird. This character has something special drawn here. Oh, him. I see. Battle ready and ever vigilant. Never constitute my gold heads left the golden hunter easily exhausted. 
Hmm. Babe. This saucy pirate lass uses her magical eye patch to spot otherwise invisible creatures. Um, I mean, I assume he's evil. I can get that vibe. The witch from Hansel and Gretel. An eccentric old fairy. Peaceful farmer who harvests his crop. His bulging biceps. He's, he's probably giving hero vibes. Oh, but he's not there. Well, I mean, the wolf has to be a monster. Can't really see. It's so low res, I can't really make out who it is. Well, she's magic. I'm going to say he's hero. That looks magic to me. I can't really make out what that is. Um, It's so low res, I can't even see. What are these? What are you? Oh, I see. Robber. Oh, well, yeah, he's evil for sure. Oh, so he's magic. He's evil. Got it. Um, Monster. Magic. Oh, dang it. Uh... Mm, let me see. Maybe these monsters are wrong. It must be the wrong character type. What do you mean? Did I not just do it? I thought it said the character types just from context clues. Um, character type. Oh, it does. Weird. Weird. So I solved it, but I didn't solve it? Well, that sounds like a personal issue. <laughs> Don't mind me. Ah. Okay, I think I have the Golden Hunter in Hero. And that's wrong. Yeah, I read. Oh! The rabbit is a hero. I did not get hero vibes from the rabbit. So sorry. So this is what's wrong? Got it. There we go. Wait, what's that? Carl Nine, du hast keine Androval. Um, you have no idea? You must den Angweisen fussen, Vogel leisten sonst. Um, you must then. Ugh. I'm kicking myself because I know some of. I probably did know these words at some point. I'm pretty confident the first sentence is you have no idea, though. I'm pretty confident in that. We'll get to. We'll fact check that eventually. Okay, bilingual. It honestly. It does bum me out. I was pretty good at German, like by the time we left. But then when I went to Germany, um. Summer of 22. I've been doing some Duolingo, but I've forgotten like a lot more than I expected. What did I do to Ned? What did I do to Ned? I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty. What did I do to Ned? Broken it. Oh no, is he really upset? I've also, I love how they. <laughs> Joe's working overtime. I love how the Wax up. Twins have one I don't phone. Know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. <laughs> Why are they making it sound like he's on, like, watch? You know? Why are they making it sound like <laughs> he needs to be watched? Like, what is he going to do? I'll let you go. Bye. Bye, Nancy. You know, like, you, don't put that on me. <laughs> Brothers by chance, lovers who share a phone by choice. Give me a call back on the landline in your room. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll call our boy Marcus. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. 
Give him a call. We don't have to manually dial this time, thank the lord. Yeah, every conversation in a Nancy Drew game Box is just here. like, talk to you Hi, later. Hi, it's Nancy. So, what's everything look like at the castle? Have you got everything under control? So far. Great. I'm on the way down. I'm about four hours away, but I'll try to be here if you need me. Thanks again for helping me I out. I do love this phone. It'd be great to have the whole thing tied up by the time I get in. I'll do my best. That's what I'm expecting. I'm bringing some foreign investors to the castle tomorrow. Big money, big time investors. I, I mean like stupid rich. Like, happy birthday, I got to the town in France you wanted, rich. I want everything tied up with a neat ball. Ooh, I ain't seen fun. it the whole hundred yards. You're like my Why are our bosses stylist? always the You're worst? make me look good. Stylist? I'm here to get rid of the monster, right? Nancy, business is built on metaphors, fast talking and self-aggrandizing anecdotes. Like the time the Prime Minister told me that my yacht was fantastic. Right. I knew you'd be a fast learner. That's my favorite Ugh. type of learner. Favorite type of car, too. You yeah, I went to Poland. To case, I see big things in your future. Look at me. I went to Poland for a swim meet. Like now I've got four houses. We used Three to go to, like, other countries for swim meets. Somewhere. Told my realtor to surprise me. Yeah, I don't like this guy's vibe. Really should track it down someday. Also, I own a castle, but you know that. All right, great. Yeah, um, we would we would travel like actually our tournament, our swimming tournament was at like the London Olympic Pool. Um, because we the international schools were all in like a division together, and there's like an international school at least one or two in every country, and so like on Fridays, a lot of the athletes just like wouldn't be in class. Um, cause we would like go to a different country for the week, for the weekend. It was very, it was very cool. Oh, Madison, thank you for the resub. Good to see you. Guten Tag. Um, because I think I told y'all we went to an international school that was like paid for by the U.S. government, but it was like a school that like we on our own would not have been able to afford. It was like a rich person school. Um, and some people who went there were like rich Germans who didn't want to go to German public school and like wanted to learn English and be around English speakers. Um, and some people were like, just worked for like big companies and were rich independently. But, um, so you're like an Olympic swimmer. Laffy Taffy, I, have I not told this story before? I feel like I have. I did swim against an Olympic swimmer who went to the international school in Egypt and she lapped me. <laughs> Her name is Frida Osman, and she actually ended up racing for the U.S. Because I think she had, like, dual citizenship. She ended up racing for the U.S. in Worlds, like, a year or two after she raced me. And she came in, like, eighth in the world. <laughs> so she's, like, very impressive. Also, hi, hi, Chloe, Snuggly. I, sorry, I didn't see you were here. Um, but, yeah, she lapped me in the 100-meter race, and... I remember she was like going around because her team won afterwards, of course, and she was giving high fives and then she didn't high five me like she <laughs> she like skipped over probably unintentionally, you know, but it came became like a running bit um, for me and my friends talking about the time I got rejected by Farida Osman because her name was just so fun to say and she was an incredible swimmer. My God. <laughs> it was not even close. It was it was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I was going easy on her. That's what she doesn't know. I was going easy on her. The thing is, when you race, um, like, anything more than 50 meters butterfly, you kind of just have to finish, and you're pretty much guaranteed to score when you're not in, like, a super competitive league, because not a lot of people like swimming butterfly, and it's, like, a pretty difficult... Of the strokes, it's pretty difficult to do. It takes, like, a lot of core strength. So I, I swam it because I wasn't like fast enough in freestyle to be like at the top of my team. So I specialized in butterfly, but like, <laughs> so I was good on like some scale, but uh, nowhere near, <laughs> nowhere near Olympic level. Clearly, it really kept me humble. What can you tell me about Anya? Anya's Anya always has been. I was surprised if I were in a race and I got lapped, I would actually just quit and drive <laughs> Why were you surprised she was working here? We used to date. <gasps> you and Anya? Lucky. Really? How does it feel yeah, to live my dream? She didn't mention that. Her? 
Well, she picked I'm not you? The breakup didn't exactly go well. Well, no, no breakup goes well, right? That'd be weird. Anya was pretty upset and she ended up acting a little strange. Strange how? It's not really... It, it wouldn't be very gentlemanlike. Tell me the tea, sis. Let's just say she is the reason that I make sure my shoes are tied before I break up. Wait, what happened? Oh, <laughs> what does that mean? Just being dramatic. It was rough. We got through it. When I find out she was working at the castle, it was weird at first, but stranger things But also, I believe women. Anya and I have Hala problems. I believe Anya Business had a right to do whatever needed to be done. First. She's very good at her job, and customers love her. That's good enough for me. Imagine working for your ex, though. That, that's gotta be rough. You're the one who broke up with Anya? You let her get away? Yeah, I'd rather not get into the specifics, but I did end the relationship. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think of Carl? I want to know all the hot no, he's not my ideal manager, but he does an adequate job. Well, Fumbled the bag hard. Of his, that is. Can you tell me a little bit about this monster? No, other than that it was a terrible timing, which is rude, by the way. I don't deal with these sort of things. I, I hire people to do it for me. I'm big picture, Nancy, like, like a dinosaur's yearbook. I don't do small print. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? A common German expression, I'm sure. Why do you insist that everyone dress up? The castle isn't a hotel, Nancy. I, yeah, what I'm is a dinosaur's yearbook? What? I'm providing an experience. <laughs> I've never heard that. To create memories that they'll never forget during their visit here. Like seeing a monster? Are you implying bold, that Nancy, I'm bold. Bold, Nancy, bold. Well, it's not out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> Just accuse your it boss. It's so far out of the realm of possibility that it has crossed the sea of you are wrong and landed in the realm of ludicrous accusations. But I do admire your thoroughness. Good hustle. Hustle? So Thanks. authentic. See you later. Goodbye. Guten Tag. We call Frank. <laughs> see, if, see if Ned's hanging in there. Hi. I guess. You get in touch with Ned yet? Not yet. Well, Joe's been keeping him company. That's good. <laughs> we can sound like a relationships. Puppy. Tell me about it. It's God, funny that I'm we should more just comfortable make out, tracking right, down Frank? some dangerous saboteur than I am having one of those relationship talks. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Occupational hazard, I guess. So what's going on in Germany? I'm in a pretty spooky old castle, and the people here are being terrorized by a monster. What's your take on the situation? I'm not so sure. I've got a really strange feeling about this place. Nancy's an empath. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. Will do. <laughs> I could really use some money. It's always the Try rich people. If there is anything you can do for the people. No, like the Venmo me. No, like Venmo works in Germany. I, I've I've tested it. Ven Venmo me. This has not been one of my better days. What's going on? Well, Ned and I aren't getting along, and I'm in a damp castle damp. that has monster problems, and the airline lost my luggage. Oh, that's awful. That officially qualifies Oh, yeah, I guess we did get paid for day. playing the board game, didn't Anything we? Anything I can say to cheer you up? I don't know. Maybe. Give it a shot. I'm sure you'll solve the case? That helps, I guess. Your luggage is probably somewhere great, like Tahiti, enjoying a nice tropical vacation. With all the traveling you do, it deserves a break. True. Thanks for the effort. No problem. Bye. Catch you later. Man, he could be ours instead of Ned. He could be ours, but we're fools. Oh god, what? What? Oh. He's a monster! He struck again quickly! Follow me to the courtyard! <laughs> What happened here? <laughs> it has gotten past the gates. Uh, this has never happened before. He set fire before. to a single Nancy, ficus. This is different now. You better leave. No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. That is not a smart move. I'm going to tell Marcus that whatever happens to you is no longer my responsibility. I'm real scared. I'd better find a way to put out that fire and fast. So is this so is this monster like the one on the islands? No true threat to anyone? I mean, they really haven't established the stakes. They've just said earlier they were like, one time the monster made eye contact with somebody and walked away. Ooh. 
But also, I have to. Do I have to take care of the fire? I don't work here. Well, I guess I do technically work here. But this isn't in my job description. <laughs> the music goes crazy, though. monster did some major damage out here <laughs> major damage it's one plant <laughs> it is one plant what a peculiar looking burr if i can find out where it's from um, burr, that could help sir? me track the monster sure leave me alone sorry i bothered you <laughs> i love how they yell out in english That is Lonnie Manila. It's very quiet, but that that was Lonnie. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. You could tell me that everyone in this game is Lonnie Manila. She has range. She has range. They passed. I don't want to leave the castle yet. Oh, okay. Fine. I suppose. Nobody wants to talk to me. Musical note quiz. Okay. Oh. Can we not take that? Why can't we take that? I guess I'll take a picture of it then. Fun. Fun for everyone. Let's see. What else do we have around here? Leave me alone. Sorry I bothered you. No one wants to hang out with me. That's the real tragedy. Tragedy. <laughs> tragedy. Travesty. Two different words. Uh, Brothers Grimm. See, like, y'all want me to read all this aloud? All this? Nancy Groot. Nancy Drew games definitely have range. Some antagonists are non-existent monsters and others are world eradicating viruses. They have it all. They have it all. I want you to read it in a German accent. I will do no such thing. I don't even think I could do a German accent if I tried. It would sound like... Zyberians? Yeah. Y'all expect me to entertain you? Weird. <laughs> Weird. That's not my job. <laughs> Translate to German and then we got Deutsche Wörterbuch. My pronunciation was really bad, bad on that too. I'm about to get it. This game's gonna expose me for the fraud that I am. I've really entrapped myself. Hello. Hi, so are you the one who tried to keep me out of the castle? He looks Probably. like he's holding in a fart. I've been known to do things like that. I'm Lucas. I'm Nancy Drew. Hello, Nancy Drew. Do you want to play monster? Uh, the children... The children in Nancy Drew games love to trap you into playing games with them. They never let you free. We need a points reward to make you speak German for five minutes. I wouldn't be capable of doing that, Hodgkiss. I wouldn't be capable. It would just be random words. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I guess he shouldn't be farting in front of Nancy. But he also shouldn't be looking at me like that. Okay, what's that? It's the best game ever. I just got it. It's really pretty awesome. Let's play a round. We'll play two rounds and Zavin goes to the farmer with the most live cows remaining at the end. This time, I'll be the farmer and you will be the monster. I will tell you some of my favorite As a farmer, German I'll words. I'll all of my cows on the board. Or at least one German word that I can think of. Um... One of my favorite German words is uh, birth control is anti-baby pillin. One word, anti-baby pillin. <laughs> and one thing I really like about German is there's a lot of, um, what do you call words like that? Conjunct conjunctive words? Like two words together to make a new word. 
like you don't say puppy you say baby hund baby dog or like um i think seal is like shvi pig like sea pig stuff like that a agglutinative language well i wasn't even close like a, a lot of words in German are like that. Like, um, Krankenhaus is sick house. That means hospital. And ambulance is Krankenwagen, sick car. It's like, it's logical in that way. So if you, if you know a good, like, base of words, you can start to piece more words together. Krankenwagen. <laughs> Krankenwagen. <laughs> All right, I need to get listen to, to Lucas three explain the rules. To become secret monsters. When you're ready, start a round. Okay, wait. I need to pay attention to this. this. Done. Choose a cow to kill in any pasture connected to one of your monsters. Mm 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 mm. Um, uh, this. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. I move them? I move them? But I can't move them anywhere. Did I fuck up? What's <laughs> wait. up? Wait, 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 wait. I'd like to play a round of monster. Cool. Once a cow is dead, you'll need to move any scared cows or monsters in adjoining pastures to a new location. Okay, so I'll move you there. I can, okay, I can put you there. Oh. And then move you there. Then I'll guess Nailed which it. of my cows is your hidden monster. I like how we pick up right where we left off. Once I'm done, it's back to you to make another kill. Be careful, because if no live cows are connected to a live monster, you'll have to skip your turn, and I'll get to guess again. Um, I don't really get it, but... <laughs> you know, when would that ever stop me? Let's see. Uh, let's do this one. And... And oh. guess correctly, one of your monsters will be killed, and I can either choose to guess again or pass. We'll continue taking turns until yeah, you're trying to hide which pieces are all are killing are it. Dead. I guess the strategy is what I'm. I'm not really getting how I strategize it, but I think it's just one of those things you have to do. You just gotta do it. How can you kill this one? Oh, because it's here. I see. Let's move you there, and you there, and you there. Oh, dang, he's good. <laughs> dang, he's good. Oh my god. The round is over, and we switch roles. You'll be the farmer, and He's I'll incredible. be the monster. <laughs> the second round is over when either all three He's monsters incredible. or all the cows are dead, making the farmer with the most survivors a winner. Let's play. Uh, easy, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> this kid's a prodigy, exactly. Okay, we had to choose our three monsters. Let's do boom. Boom. I like the monster sound. And... Let's kill one, a centrally located one, I suppose. And... Move you around. Move you around. And... Okay. We're we're slaying, we're killing. Yeah, maybe the first round 
<laughs> Maybe the first round it was designed so that you would lose so that he could explain the rules. Perchance. Maybe that's why. And maybe I'm actually really good at it. <laughs> maybe. You don't know. You don't know. And... Put you there. Oh, I shouldn't have put him there. <laughs> that was actually a mistake. But life goes on. <laughs> Alas, though, life goes on. You live and you laugh and you learn. And well, let's not move the monster first because I feel like I do that every time. Yeah. Yeah. And... Let's do that there. Oh my gosh. Embarrassing. Embarrassing! I'm beating this ten-year-old to a pulp. Hi, Elfie! How- how art thou? We can do... well, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. And do that. That there. He killed my monster! How dare you. How dare you. Yeah, glad to have you here. Okay. We can only kill... yeah, we only have two options. Let's do this one. And then let's... Move my monsters around a little bit. Boom. I'm about to do a clean sweep, I think. Well, <laughs> I think it's definitely, he's definitely going to find out where my monster is now. Yeah. <laughs> almost, though, almost. Okay. Oh, I move. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> sure. This one? Fuck. Fuck! Got him. Choose another cow. Ah, pass. Um... Look. Boom. And... Pass. It just moves so quickly that I can't see. Okay. Um... Oh. Easy. Nice game. Here you go. Almost Should if I'm I pick a set? <laughs> playing yes. against a ten-year-old. Um, 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 um. It's a card for that game that Carl is always playing. They're pretty cool, actually. I have a bunch. I'll give you some if you can beat me at Monster. Tell me about what my girl can you Anya. Tell me about Anya. She's the best. Is she single? She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. I knew it. Why is that? She's taught me where all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games. And she's good to talk to if you have a problem. Uh, meme, because I, I remember so the thing with the key symbol, and it's not doing? card related. I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. I'm, I'm thinking. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give her oh, a food, pussy. she falls asleep in like a second. It's really weird. Oh, we haven't even met her yet. I don't know how we're asking about Renata. I don't know how Nancy knows these things. Why are you always pranking Carl? I tried with everyone else, but they're not good at noticing. I like the name Anya too. Carl it's fun to say. So 
He notices everything and gets all crazy and red when you mess with him. Luke's like a prank YouTuber. He's like Sam Pepper. Then I get to use it. I'm going to build a small version to kidnap Carl. Secret passages. And unalive his friend. Secret passages? Crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the secret passages? Where do they go? We're in a Nancy game. Of course there's a secret passage. They're secrets. Plus, there are a few places here that I'm the only one who knows where they go. It's cold here, too. I think it's actually supposed to snow this weekend. Which will be fun. I feel like it hasn't really felt like winter up until this point. At least for me. Have you seen the monster? Oh, we could just accuse I him? I don't know. How can you not know? I saw something. I don't know what it was. Where? Down in the passageways. Why it say unalive? Awesome. I just think it's fun. <laughs> Is it cringy? Maybe. But also, I just never know. Well, also, I hear things sometimes about Twitch's moderation. And so I'm like, why not? Why not just say <laughs> a goofier version than the actual version? What did you see? Oh, I could have gaslit him. Monster. Cringe is dead. Be cringe. Be free. I mean, that's why I keep doing it. That's why I keep doing it. I let's think accuse him anyways. The one behind the We've been here for two sightings. minutes. My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. Clay. That's enough. I think you're the one causing Clay. the sightings. He's innocent. And I don't even know why you're here. <laughs> He's innocent. And, and why you're bugging me. Maybe you should just leave me alone. I love bullying children. It sure is a fun time. Oh, money. Cash money. Wait, where was it? Saw sparkle. Where was it? Dang it. I missed. I miss. Maybe it's like the whole East Coast is getting that snowstorm. Because I think we're getting it too, Laffy. Laugh Taffy. I guess I don't know if you live on the East Coast of Canada. I'm assuming. Let's see. Where is Renata? Not this way. Like the little boy in the Titanic you didn't want to say. <laughs> it is kind of the same energy. Isn't that beautiful? Same storm. We are all one. You know, one planet. One world. We're a circle together something. I don't really remember the Cheetah Girls lyric. <laughs> Cheetah Girls 3 lyric. Having trouble recalling it at this moment. But if you know, you know. Any money? Oh. <laughs> Nancy's just gonna break this castle apart one piece by one. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, German vocabulary bite! This week, the solar system. Sun, die Sonne. Comet, der Comet. Moon, der Mond. Planet, der Planet. Star, der Stern. Earth, die Erde. Oh, another thing about German is you capitalize nouns. Fun fact. Fun fact. I mean, it's a castle. I would expect this castle is full of rich people. I feel like that was implied by it being a castle. The solar system. The Sonnen system. Like, you see what I mean? They just take the word sun and system and put it together. Astronomy. De astronomy. Do you believe the monster is real? 89% says yes. I kind of love that energy. I I wish more people were that easy to... Um, were that prone to believing in cryptids. I think the world would be a better place. <laughs> if we all just accepted that the Mothman is here for us, for all of us. I have a German last name, even though my family isn't predominantly German. That's fun. Do you know what it means? Is it like a German phrase? All right, mark your calendars. Only two days remain until the start of the Ungeheuerlichkeit. The Ungeheuerlichkeit. Uh, Nacht Festival. That's night. Ungeheuerlichkeit. Something hour. 
What does that mean? Un Ungen Hoyer Lichkeit. Ungehoyer. I spelled it wrong. I want to know. Ungehoyer. Awesomeness? Enormous. Enormous night festival? Okay, well, I don't... <laughs> it's fine that I didn't know, remember the word for enormous. Another year with no return of the legendarily terrifying monster. The annual event kicks off with the traditional castle release back into the pasture. Cattle release. Sometimes I wish I had taken German in school instead of Spanish. I mean... If you're living in the, the U.S., to be fair, I had to take German and Spanish. And I really should have paid more attention to Spanish because learning Spanish, at least when you live in the U.S., is a useful skill. Activities and entertainment continue throughout the day with our own local stars, Polka Prowess, headlining the event, the evening performances in the main courtyard. My sister, actually, she did Spanish all through high school and she did AP Spanish. And my um, grandfather who's Latino, he loves to, like, walk up to my sister unprompted when she's, like, distracted reading a book or something and say something in Spanish to her. And she'll say, like, huh? Not because she doesn't understand what he says, but because he just unprompted, like, walks up to her when she's distracted. And he's like, ah, you don't speak Spanish. It, it really gets me. Sarah gets uh, so, like, I do, I do speak Spanish. <laughs> It's so cute. Uh, malevolent monster may manufacture mob mentality. Does AP Spanish actually teach you more than regular Spanish would? I mean, I don't know. I guess you would have to ask her. But she did get like a... She took a test that like Maryland, the state gives, that like certifies you as fluent in Spanish. And she passed it. So she was pretty good at it. Yeah, I don't understand AP classes aside from them being college credit sometimes. I mean, that's that's all there is, really, is college credit. Yeah, I took... You had to take a uh, language for up to level three in high school, or you had to take another year in my undergrad. So I did have to take German again in my undergrad. And what I loved about taking German, especially at the 201 level is everyone who committed to taking German was kind of a weirdo, including our professor. Our professor originally studied, like, butterflies. She was an entomologist, but she was, like, German. She was a German entomologist, but couldn't really find work um, in the field of butterflies. So she just became a German professor. <laughs> and, um, it was, like, a class of, like, eight people, and they were all right characters. Now. They were all characters. I loved that class. Yeah. She was an icon, a legend. I also loved when I lived in Germany. I had this one teacher who was American. He was from Wisconsin. And he went to Germany for college because you could get like free university, at least when like he went over. And so he just stayed in Germany and learned German. And then he taught German at an international school. And he still had like the thickest American accent when he was speaking German to us. So like we couldn't take him seriously. Herr Donaldson. Uh, he was a sweetie, though, too. It was just really funny. When we're in Germany and we have an American guy <laughs> teaching us German. Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have oh, much in common. She's got so many I'm euros on so her. Sure. Look at her. I don't I believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? There's papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially. See, she's not committing Still to the German enough. accent. I am enough. an after. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You're here for the monster, yes? She's mysterious. When I'm an old lady, I aspire to be this level of mysterious. <laughs> yes. This, and contrarian. This is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? My German professor also what I know. taught a whole class on You're fairy here for tales. The now I tell you something you don't know. This I guess just because of Brothers Grimm, right? For you. What makes you so sure of that? 
<laughs> I'm a storyteller, <laughs> Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. You're part of this story now. That's... thank you. <laughs> what are your favorite places to visit? Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are so dull true, as much through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest, they make cakes. These chocolate cakes with Ugh, cherries Black and Forest cream. cake does not oh, what taste I would as give good for one as right it looks, now. unfortunately. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a Ugh, nap near a fire. Drowning in cherry that liqueur. Does sound nice. So 70s. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It the cake is a lie. For the old teas. <laughs> what a throwback, it yes. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. More German food takes? Um, well, my favorite German food is stuff you really can't get um, in the U.S. Why am I blanking on the, the name of it, though? But it's like... It's definitely not vegan. It's like a sort of like a gnocchi, like a potato pasta. And it's normally like cheesy. Let me Google what name is this. German. Spätzle. Thank you, Hotchkiss. Spätzle is so good. And I remember um, there was this one time we went on like a hiking thing uh, with my parents. Because my parents like pay to do hiking adventures and stuff. And at the end of the hiking trail, our guide, like, cooked spätzle on, um, like, a stove, like, a little fire pit stove. And that, like, is one of the best meals I'd ever, like, I've ever had to this day. Because we were, like, it wasn't just hiking. We were, like, canyoning. We had to wear a wetsuit. We were, like, walking through rivers and climbing on stuff. <laughs> it was a lot. It was exhausting. And my poor sister was, like objectively too young to go but they still let her go so she was really freezing they had to like double they had to put two wetsuits on my sister because she was too small <laughs> they shouldn't have let her go so she was freezing but the spetzel at the end ugh, the best the best thoughts on sauerkraut um i'm kind of neutral on it i can kind of take it or leave it like when it was served on a plate i would eat it but i'm not that crazy about it dan's family they eat sauerkraut like when we had Christmas dinner, they had like sauerkraut just with their meal. And I was like, I never as an American, I never had sauerkraut until I went to Germany. I like I much prefer kimchi. Me, my I agree on that one. But I mean, it's good with schnitzel, I will say. And schnitzel is basically just like a big I mean, it's pork, but it it tastes like a big chicken nugget to me. So what's not to like about that? How well do you know Carl? Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. What do you mean? The way he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Probably not great. I love this lady's but... energy. <laughs> I love this lady's ominous energy. I want to love sauerkraut because I'm a pickle girly, but the texture gives me the ick unless it's cooked into something. Yeah, I get that. I get that. It's kind of like coleslaw. It's got, got coleslaw energy. I've never had it in a soup, though, I don't think. Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. Ooh, lore, she lore. stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then, the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place. Is this friend in the room with us for right girl. now? That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants all walking in a line. She was very proud of it and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. 
One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't believe you. This is what Dan would say if he heard that story. <laughs> this is like Dan after I told him ghost stories. That's nice. Sorry, but I don't believe in monsters. This isn't a fairy tale. It doesn't matter if you believe Are or you not. Are you sure that traumatic event happened to you? I mean, your friend. Are these outfits accurate? I mean, I've... This doesn't even... I've never seen something like this. But to be fair... This looks like, honestly, not even German? Maybe. I don't know. You do see the Lederhosen and stuff. Obviously, people don't wear that on the daily, but for Oktoberfest, they wear stuff like that. Sure. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She yes. actually understands the yes. history of the castle. Why is that important? What do you mean, why is that important? When I'm here, I try Herstory. not to tell the stories of what has happened at this Herstory. castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Carl. Dan is the husband in a found footage ghost movie who says it was just the win. Yep. He's the reason we stay in the house too long. I'm telling you. What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? <laughs> Dan should know skeptics always go first. <laughs> you will so figure true. it out. I think you're just trying to scare me. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason Her to be interactive afraid. story. <laughs> That's good. Are you threatening me? Threatening you? No. <laughs> no, I'm not threatening you, Nancy. I like her bun. It's full of secrets. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? You wouldn't know her. I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why yeah, I wouldn't mean, it matter I mean, to you? Leave it alone. To be fair, I feel like if someone told me a possession story, I don't... I don't know if I'd say anything, but I I think I do draw the line at possessions. I don't think possessions are real. But possession stories, I don't even think are fun. I feel like ghost stories a lot of the time, like as long as they're about like people from hundreds of years ago, like the ghost stories are pretty harmless. Possession stories feel more See you like later. Goodbye, Nancy. psychosis, you know, uh, feels more like mental health issues or like some sort of and there's also like religion tied to it. Um, I, I don't think, ooh, possession, how fun. You know, it's a little more complicated. She saw someone who made a scary face and act strange. Yeah, it would take a little bit more than that for, <laughs> for me to believe someone was possessed. I agree there. That's it, call me back on the landline. All right, girl boss, I'm going. But also like, hello, how are you? My name is. Oop. Ice bucket challenge. This game came out I in like 2010. Find something else to wear. I really wish I had my suitcase. Oh no. Nancy's gonna have to wear some sexy leader. <laughs> oh, good. Goody. Get Nancy out of those mom jeans, honestly. Me after seeing Liza Koshi and that blonde lady. <laughs> like, it was that blonde lady. I know, normalize just calling someone. And, well, actually, I shouldn't say normalize. That's exactly what my dad does. My dad talks like Marcus. He texts me and goes like, call me. <laughs> call me. <laughs> and then you call him thinking that, like, your whole family's dead because who texts like that? And he's like, um, so I want to move the laundry over. Can you do that for me? Like, it's the most banal stuff. <laughs> but he just text call me. What a boomer. Oh, Lele Pons. Mama's yes. Here. Do you believe that the monster could be real? If it is, I know a guy who will pay through the nose for movie rights. That didn't exactly answer my also, question. Also, you asked me to call you. What do you know about Renata? Did he not want me to call Nothing. him anymore? Is that a person? Yes, she's a traveling storyteller. Oh, she's the friends we okay. made along the way. Are others who the list of things that you seem to think that I need to know? I'm trying to work here. 
Or when they text you with ellipses, why are they making a mundane text suspenseful? I know. What is up with that? My dad will call me for trivial things, even though I keep telling him to send a text or an email. Yeah, my dad's the same way. So my family told me my last name was German, but the internet says it's Swiss French. I mean, they're on the border of each other. Close enough. Hello and goodbye are for bitches. I am not bitches. Oh, so you call like Marcus is what I'm hearing. Bye. Bye. You call like Marcus. Oh, here we go. The Ungeheuerlichkeit Nacht Festival. I think they just tried to find a, an obnoxiously long German word to try and stump me, but it won't stuck, stump me. Ooh, festival. Who's playing? It's just like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Hans and the Hedgehogs, Ed Sheeran. I absolutely call like Marcus, which is amusing because I literally worked in a call center for three years. Yeah. We really haven't done much puzzling so far, have we? Just kind of vibes. Oh, I haven't even looked at my task list once. Still have to do that. Ask about the costume. Haven't done that. Did that. Haven't done that. We could get a cake for Renata. Check. 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 Haven't done that. I thought I read the game guide. Did that. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Okay, okay. Mostly we just gotta do some more exploring. Has there been any Shirio drama? No, I don't think so. I also don't feel like Shirios really exist in large numbers anymore. Like, I know he's a popular artist, but he's kind of like Katy Perry. Like, Katy Perry has popular songs, but like, how many people are like dedicated fans of her, you know? I mean, I feel like Ed Sheeran used to have more dedicated fans, like, back in the early days. Um, specifically, he used to have a dedicated fan in me. <laughs> I went to his, um, Divide tour, his second album tour. And it, honestly, it was sick, because it's just, like, him and his guitar. Like, there's there was no backing band with him, and he has, like, a looping thing with him. So he'll just, like, he creates the beats on his own. And actually, his guitar broke halfway through the performance, and he still slayed. He was- he had some really good music. And also, um, that was when Don't was on that record. Uh, one of his bops. And I mean, I- uh, oh, I have a lot of money. I was a huge fan of his original album. Like, I sang A-Team in <laughs> eighth grade for my, uh, guitar class for my music class having no idea well i mean i think i do it was about a sex worker but i didn't know about the cocaine references in the song and my music teacher was like great job that was beautiful <laughs> and my music teacher was like slay <laughs> grim's baddies <laughs> i don't know why that's making me giggle so much grim's baddies i'm right here no story is complete without a villain. Grim's baddies. Anya is right here. Anya is right here. Oh my gosh! It's a book from Blackmore Manor, which we haven't played yet, so that means nothing to some of you. Fun. You get a bobblehead. There's like a translator book in here, right? I thought there was. The Art of Glass. Fun. Mugs. Where's the cake thing? Oh, there's the cake thing. Where did we already have a translator? Hmm, maybe we find it somewhere else. I'm also just talking to myself, so... Don't worry about me. Alright, let's get... Anya, this is like those Carlos Bakery vending machines you see at the airport, where it's like $15 for a, a frozen cake. 
Yes. Yes, cake, please. Oh, money. <laughs> oh, money. Brim's baddies would be a great name for a drag troop, I agree. <laughs> yeah, Gr Grim's baddies are headlining that festival. Operation Snack is go. All right. We're going to do it to him. We're going to do it to him. Um, let's see. Can do those Coco Kringles. Hi, Anya. Hello. You look beautiful. You look great. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> um, just trying to get a look around here. Yeah, this cake cannot be good, but, you know, it's not for us at the end of the day. Sassy Stuttgart. <laughs> yes, please. I'll take some of that. A speak of ham. Wunderkinder. Fun. Castle plumbing and German existentialism. Good, good stuff. Nancy, what happened? You look very sad. All right, let, let's shit talk Ned with it's her. It's my boyfriend. Well, you can always talk to me about it. Us girls have to stick together. Yes. Thanks. Give it I to me. I need some boyfriend advice. You came to the dump him. <laughs> she I think I need to apologize, him. but at the same time, he needs to let me live my life. Of course, I want him to be a big part of it, but... I don't know how to explain that. Well, luckily, this one's easy. For me, at least, as the advice giver. Tell him exactly what you just told me. That's it? That's it. Talk it through. Relationships are like plants. They grow stronger if you talk to them. Eh, that one works better in German, I think. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. I can't I believe she didn't tell us to work. dump him. Date her oh, instead. When I was your age, I had the most wonderful boyfriend. The whole world was always just so perfect when we were together. There's nothing like love to bring order to a scattered world. Yeah, I don't know world. why that work, works better in German meme. It made sense to me. Um. Hmm. I guess we can talk to him about so many things. But let's... Let's Did talk you about the tea. and Marcus date? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Were you too serious? We were, or at least we thought we were. <laughs> you know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. Mm, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You've got it. some great stuff in here. Is any of it for sale? Of course. This shop is very popular with tourists. Most everything is for sale. You'll find the prices listed. So Let's Marcus get back is to the okay with please. you working here? He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. Did you leave this costume out for me? No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. So mysterious. I love it. Um. What's with a glass display? Ah, oh, you noticed. Glass oh, she meant the literal glass. Is very strong in the areas around Bavaria. She saw it on we her do bedroom quite floor. We a bit of glass blowing night. here ourselves. Normally we have demos, but it's been so hectic here the they last didn't want to few days, that. we'd have to stop them for the moment. They didn't you want to animate glass that. here in the castle? Oh, yes. I wish you could see it. Glass I is wish I could everyday too. magic. Out of all this power and fire comes something delicate and strange. It's sad how easy it is to forget just how odd and beautiful a simple piece of glass can be. I guess so. <laughs> Come on, Nancy. It's one of the old things. Renata is always saying the old things are the best. Do you think she's right? If you do, I do. Sure, I guess. She might be right. 
But you could also say that the monster is also one of the old things. Mm. I'll ask what she thinks what about Renata. What do you think of Renata? I love her stories. Sometimes when she comes, the two of us stay up until the sun comes up, just chattering away about this and that. You ask me, her reputation is completely undeserved. What reputation? Big reputation. It's, it's big reputation. To explain exactly. nah, 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 nah. Your big reputation. A lot of people say that wherever she goes, bad fortune follows. You know, Do Taylor you Swift? Think that? You ever heard? Not really. But she does always have peculiar timing. Come to think of it. When I was a castle gets <laughs> I'm to just such a pot stir, monster, I love it. She's not far behind. Really? Do you think she has something to do with the monster sightings? I'd be surprised. But then again, no, never mind. It's nothing. What? <laughs> okay. I should The block be of text I just <laughs> One time when she was here, and again everyone was all worked up about the monster, and she told the stories that scared <sighs> everyone who listened half to death. So later that night, when everyone was locked in their houses with the windows shut tight, I caught her snooping around the castle. What does that mean? What was she doing? That's just the thing. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> She didn't come back for a long time after that. Actually, that was the last we heard of the monster for a while, too. Mm -hmm. See you later. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, should we give Renata some cake? Give her this cake? <laughs> give her Nancy's cake? Oh my god, please give it a rest. I'm working here. Nancy, I think we need to talk. Ned, I'm so glad you called. Ned, you know the truth is I'd love to have you here with me instead of all the way at home. I feel the same way, and I know that. Just forget it sometimes. Oh, Ned, you don't need to change. I like you just the way you <sighs> are. I get Gross. I thought that I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in the fight, I did a lot of thinking. Me too. And I came to a decision. I may not be an internationally known <laughs> Nancy when she lies. Have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Gasly, we got I tricked into speaking to Ned. We didn't have a choice. Time. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. It's true. Well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. You might be right. Wait, really? I'd better start working on my slow thing. Sorry, the connection is bad. I'll call you back from the landline. We won't do no such thing. Uh, uh, uh. So the game after this, I believe, is Alibi and Ashes, where Ned is a playable character. So I guess that's <laughs> that's why we have to listen to so much Ned. They trick us. They trip trick us. All right, let's get the cake out and then. Let's get hmm. that. Oh. <laughs> no! No! Nancy ate the cake. <laughs> uh, Nancy! That cake wasn't for you! Good God, Nancy. Mm. Also, thank you for the hydrate meme. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, Nancy. There must be a specific order to play these in. Oh yeah. I don't think we have the thing for that yet. Yeah, they, they don't show Ned's character model. Um, I think they know, I mean, they would never show Nancy's character model or Ned's character model. Cause I think the answer would disappoint us. Hi. I think we, in, they're, inevitably they know people would be disappointed. So they just don't. They just keep it a mystery. Oh, wait, I don't need to talk to you. In. Goodbye. Give it to me. Give it to me. We might actually get Ned as a character in the upcoming game. I don't know, maybe. I guess they did hint at the end of Midnight in Salem that they wanted that Ned wanted to come with Nancy on like the next, or Nancy wanted Ned to come with her on the next adventure. So maybe, I mean, I know Ned's voice actor is like 
working on it. He'll be involved in some way. I wonder if the new game will be influenced by the CW Nancy Drew show. I, I really don't think so. I, what I doubt it. What are you it. wearing, Nancy? Change out of that this instant! What's the matter? It's just a costume for the celebration. She just it can't stand me looking room. better than her. Who left that in your room? I don't know. It was just there with a note to she put it on. She just can't sing a hot girl succeeding. I still don't see what the big deal is. Change out of it now! If we can only dream, at least the show is a little gay. Maybe the game will be a little gay, although I don't I don't know if that's the case. Um, I've heard I've heard rumors that the CEO of Her Interactive is quite conservative. So and I think I mentioned in my Nancy Drew video that the people who made one of the characters gay in Sea of Darkness, like they basically just didn't tell anybody above them and like kept it secret so that by the time people noticed it was too late to take it out. And it was like, you know, it's just like one line of not even dialogue. It's just like written text. Like you look through a character's phone and she says, my my girlfriend. Um, So it was like low key. It wasn't like in her character arc. Yeah. Which love the devs for doing that. But <laughs> there's probably a reason they had to <laughs> be sneaky about it, you know? No, change first. We will talk later. But I have cake. I have cake for you. Cake. I wonder if any of those devs are like they're working on the game now. I kind of doubt it. I also am not entirely sure if Me Pumi Games is like developing the the new game again, the ones who made Midnight in Salem. I've heard I've heard some people say that that's the case, but not like official people. When does the new game come out? Well, that's the thing. We don't know yet. There's been some people are speculating that it'll be like a uh, holiday 2024 or summer 2024. We thought it was initially when they like announced they were working on a new game in March of 2023. We thought it was like a couple months out and then that was not the case. No, change first. Oh my we gosh. We'll talk later. Lady. I hope it if it doesn't come out this year, I feel like they're going to lose a lot of goodwill with people, but yeah, their marketing strategy is bad. They won't commit to saying, oh, spring 2024 because they remembered in Midnight in Salem because with Midnight in Salem, they did announce like, oh, spring 2017, fall 2018, and they kept having to move it back. So they're like, we're not going to do that with this. But like, even though they're not saying a date, they're still having a really long marketing like cycle, you know? So like the effect is the same, even though they don't say a date. They're, they're kind of learning on paper their mistakes, but not really like the spirit. <laughs> Of what was the problem last it time? It looks like I need to match the glass pattern. Ooh, but I don't this have is fun. The pieces. Oh, didn't I pick up the blue one? I guess we have to find another one. Okay, but speaking of conservatives and the Nance games, only real MVPs remember the her interactive forums that were overrun with Christian homeschoolers. I was one of the Christian homeschoolers. I, I was not on the Her Interactive forums, but I believe it. They really did tap into the homeschooling market. That was a big part of their demo, which is also probably why a lot of their characters weren't gay. That should have been objectively, <laughs> objectively should have, have been to gay. Translate that. I wonder where I find a translator. Let's see. What's on my? Can't check that off yet. Still well, have to do the that. shop, so I'm assuming I Still didn't miss it. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet read the game guide still have to do that still have to do that did that which one's the foyer foyer is it here is this the foyer yeah i think midnight in salem trying to like up the graphics but not accounting for the fact that most of their players are playing on like old PCs like <laughs> was one of their biggest like basic failures. It's kind of like, you know, The Sims 4. If The Sims 4 was like only playable on a, a super PC, they'd be cutting off so much of their demographic, which is why like The Sims 4 is kind of graphically limited. And it's also buggy as hell, but that's kind of besides the point. <laughs> it's also really buggy. It has its own issues, but you know, they're not trying to make it look like 
a like a Baldur's Gate 3 or something, you know? That was the problem with Sims 3. Hmm. No, change first. We will talk Lady, later. I have cake for you. I don't know what else I should should do. Well, I could read the game guide. I'll read the game guide and explore the courtyard. I guess those are two things I can do. The open world made the loading times first. I mean, I can't change. My clothes are wet. Oh, uh, well, I guess Have maybe they dried out. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's change into some yummy wet jeans. <gasps> what happened? Wait, Who was Nancy wearing like, like a this? midi plaid skirt earlier? Why was Nancy wearing like a Catholic schoolgirl uniform? <laughs> I mean, put this on, Nancy. For the festival. This might come there in. There we go. There we go. I mean, honestly, this is only an improvement. This is for sure an improvement. Okay, well now we have a translator, so that's good. I better hang on to this. Cornered by the monster and unable to reach the safety of the castle, the girl jumped down the deep, dark well. The rainwater from the blowing storm was just high enough to keep her from plummeting to her death at the bottom of the well. Above ground, the monster raged, furious that she was now out of his reach. The girl listened in terror as the monster paced near the well's opening, above roaring in frustration. Afraid that the monster might follow her in, the girl desperately looked around for another way out of the pitch-black well. She struggled to stay afloat, running her hands over the walls for any sort of handhold. Finally, she came across an area that differed from the rest of the stones. She examined it closer and found something that... Yeah, there we go. I read something. I read something. You know, I, I aim to please. <laughs> I, I aim to please at the end of the day. Um, I forget what else I was going to do. Oh, I keep forgetting I want to go to Carl's office. Let's go read the game guide. Because that'll be easy to check off. Check off's gun. What? Um. Oh, well. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I feel like a lot of this kind of goes nowhere, you know? Like, they made a really big... Oh, wow. What? <laughs> this map feels, like, unnecessarily big. Ah! <laughs> okay, now, now I'm lost. Lost in the castle. I, I really hope, I hope I get called in <laughs> to record a line on a potato. That's my dream. I would, um, I don't think I'm relevant enough. If Argothump hasn't, well, Argothump has been in a Nancy Drew game. I don't know. I feel like my video got decent enough views, even though I did make fun of them a lot. I think I should be, <laughs> I think I should be in the next Nancy Drew game. I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, he's got a gaming PC too. Look at him. And I want to be like, why are there so many protesters in a small town like this? That's true. I got to be like, why? <laughs> oh, good. Oh, okay. That's what I was missing. We start an emailing campaign. Yes. A a targeted, targeted spamming campaign. <laughs> that, I think that'll go well. I think that'll go well for me. I, I am actively encouraging it. <laughs> this looks just like the picture in the raid guide. There must be something special about this painting. What a strange place to keep a key. Why was that so quiet? I can't believe he just let us do that. I thought he would have had to leave the office for us to do that. <laughs> just a low quality scream about how bisexual I am. I feel like I really hope that fits in perfectly with the prog game. And if it doesn't, I don't want to play it. Nancy, glad you're here. Big 
news! The International news. Board Card and Dice Commission has announced that they will be accepting new games for review. Voice. That means I can send Raid in! That's great news. Only... What? I am... I have very bad luck is a simple way of explaining it. Always have. But this doesn't seem bad. Not yet, but you'll see. Nothing good ever just happens, not in my life at least. Oh, God. I'm sorry you don't want to hear any more of my old man problems. Yeah. I actually need your help. Exactly. With what? Since you're the best raid player I've met, will you help me create a new character? I know this probably won't work out, but <laughs> I want it to be I know. I, I make fun of Carl because I am Carl. <laughs> because I'm looking in a mirror and I don't like what I see. <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh, excellent. Yes, I just knew you'd help. Maybe with your help, this wouldn't be such a disaster. I'd like you to help me come up with a new character. It is going to be based on the bare-skinned creature from the old tales. Should it be male or female? Female. Women's stories matter. Female. Thanks. Her interactive, yes. Have you seen a burr like this before? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, I've seen something like that out in the woods. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll hold on to that. Um... Anya mentioned a glass shop. Can you help me find a way in? She did, did she? Yeah, that's, that's the only question he had. That's you want the only input inside? he needed. Go ahead, but stay away from the furnace. Why is that? It's a glass furnace. It's deadly. We've had accidents. It is not for <laughs> fooling around. Be very careful. You could die down there. Okay, sign me up. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. What do you think of Marcus? He does not know what you he's could doing. Die he down we there. should all listen to there him because go. he has a briefcase. <laughs> any fool can get one of those things. I know, we need a death day, scene. They are silly. What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. True, that's true. He carries around briefcases anymore. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later, Nancy. All right, Check. we found something. Haven't done that. That's done. Read the game guide. Haven't done that. Well, we did find out. She's just... Nancy just doesn't support women and won't let me check that off. Okay, well, let's go talk to Renata and tell her... Um, the monster tore up my sad, ugly clothes. Why are you still wearing that? My clothes, they're gone. Someone tore them to shreds. She did. They did me a favor. This is bad. <laughs> Whoever that was. Who did it? I don't know. I don't even know why anyone would want to do it. Someone thinks it's important that you look the part, it seems. Guys, I'm baked and my friend in the building just gave me cheesecake. It's a good day. Oh my gosh. That sounds amazing. Would you like some food? Would you like some food? Oh, that. Uh, oh, all right. fuck yeah. <laughs> Dang. Well, honestly, I'm jealous. I wish I could fall asleep like that. That's about to be Laffy Taffy after that cheesecake. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we never heard from Laffy Taffy again. I need to get to that box without waking Renata up. Oh, okay. Let's let's do it. Be be very sneaky. Oh. <laughs> Bad news. Oh, good news, you can outrun Renata. Bad news, it'll just look really embarrassing when it's happening. <laughs> Try again, yes. Okay. You have to be very careful, which I'm famously always good at. Okay, you can rotate things. Chicken-scented marker? Now what's that? Oh. Oh. The news in Germany is considered a compliment to, to snoop through someone's bag. The correction. Earlier today, this publication ran an article that made some incorrect statements about Germany. We offer our apologies. Oh, good night, Cured.
All right. He's... Ew, this puzzle's sensitive. This puzzle's like me. Sad and sensitive. Okay. Uh, uh. Scientifically, I don't really know if this works, but... Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this game... This game over has the same energy as the man who tells you you missed in Mad Dog McCree. Bad news, you've been caught by Renata. The worst news, now people all across Europe will hear, hear the tales of the snooping detective. Spoiler alert, you're the villain of the story. All right, come on. I've got a, I got a job to do here. Do this, this first. Fuck! All right, I gotta skip through these now. Because we're approaching Dan coming home time. And if he scares me during this puzzle, it's all, it's all over. All right, take your chicken scented marker. You can take your chicken scented marker. Uh huh. Okay. Goose, please don't bark. This is so serious. This is so serious right now. Okay. <gasps> oh, we are so close. So close. Also, he's a real late sleeper. May I just say? How dare she wake up when I'm snooping through her things? Can't you tell I'm busy? Okay. <laughs> I love how this... Sh Margaret's just shaking. This Margaret's shaking. And... Fuck! Ah. So what's the goal here? We're trying to get to the box at the bottom. This box in this corner. So we have to move this stuff around it without waking her up. Which includes putting these things down very gently, apparently. Apparently. Hmm. Yeah, that was bad. We should have drugged the cake. I mean, it kind of looks like we did. Oh, you can pick things up even if they seem like they're blocked? Oh, I did not know that, so thank you. That is actually good to know. Interesting. Not that I really should have moved that first, but... Um... Just experimenting. Then why can't we pick up the box? <laughs> That's actually a, a very valid question. <laughs> Let's do that. And... We'll do... That... Yeah, I guess the stuff would fall. See, we're detectives. Worked it out. <laughs> and... Okay. Hmm. 
Oof. Flip it and slide in. Uh, I did not set this up well. Um, yeah, this is, I think, doomed. <laughs> I think, perchance, it's doomed. Um, try and use a bit more like that, like so. <laughs> Anyone have fun plans for January 6th this year? Um, I'm doing a Costco run. <laughs> doing a Costco run, so it's gonna be pretty lit. And then, um, Congress run right after. I regret picking this up. Put that there. And... Can make my pens for a second time. Good old Michael Pencil. All right. Clearly, I'm goofing this. Clearly, I stink. <laughs> Suck big sauerkraut at this puzzle. And da 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 Why is it sliding like that? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. It's on a flat surface, okay? I need you to stop. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we did it. I need to figure out the color code to open this. Oh, we need to do this right now? Oh, it's like Wordle. It's like Wordle. All right, I guess we're doing this now. I guess. How do I change this? Oh, I see. Um, let's do yellow, blau. Red. Color correct in spot. Purple. Yellow. Blau. Green. Okay. So it's purple, yellow, and then red has to be there. And pink. Who can take me? What's Renata up to? My it wordle seems talent. Like she's tracking the monster. There's a dungeon in this castle. I better find it. Sick. All right. Monster, monster. Sightings, footprints, claw marks, dead animal, girl abducted. Okay. All right, Liam Neeson. Oh my God. <laughs> Five people like. Throughout all of history or recently? Because that's that is a serious problem. <laughs> the Owl and Other Grimm's Fairy Tales. Oh, here we go. Awoke and scared alone. A weak light shone through the grate in the ceiling far above, barely illuminating her cell. The nearly unadorned walls held no doors and no apparent way out. Panic began to overcome the girl as she realized she was trapped. Her heart raced as she cried for help. Heavy footsteps filled the room again, and the girl began to hope for rescue. She called out again. The steps came closer, and the grate pulled back. A shadowy figure appeared in the opening above. A blood-curdling scream left her lips as the light from above revealed the features of the monster who had caught her. I better hang Was she okay, on though? Was she okay? See, now this. Too long to read. 
One page. Done. Also, I don't remember... Like I said, I don't really remember the puzzles from this game, so I'm not sure... what I need to know from this. I'm just gonna take... Just in case, I'm gonna take pictures of this. In case we do need to refer to it later. Never be... too sure. Because we are not doing that puzzle again, no sir. Okay, okay, and does she have any money I can take? Any... any money? Nope. Alright, well. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, she's sleeping. She's sleeping. Good night. Okay. Um... Let's see, let's consult our task list. Task list. Run away into Castle Dungeon. Check. Did that. Um, we have to explore the courtyard. Okay, I think I'll end it for tonight. I feel like we didn't do... I mean, I guess we did puzzles. But not like big puzzles. We haven't done any big puzzles yet. It's been a lot of, lot of talking and vibing. A lot of fighting with Ned. I feel like that's what really takes up our time. A lot of fighting with Ned. Oh, I can't do a frowny face. Oh, and a hydrate. We did play games with the German child. That that's so true. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> yes. Okay. There we go. I really don't remember how far into the game we we are. I feel like this might be a three a three parter. But we did. We learned so much. We learned about chicken salad. Thanks, y'all, for hanging out with me. I had a grand old time. You'd guess three-part or two. That's fun, though. That's fun. I love a good... A good long Nancy game. Especially with how mazy the woods and other places are. I do recall... Um, I know my friend doesn't like this game, and it's solely because she gets lost in the woods all the time. So I anticipate that being a problem. Learned about chicken-scented marker. But yeah, as, as Meme said... Good night, everybody. Um, have a good rest of your weekend. I'll see y'all on Tuesday. Um, and yeah. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh yeah, happy January 6th, everyone. I hope y'all have a happy January 6th. Okay. Good night, guys. Bye.